Hey everybody, I'm Zach. This is Schmirkenabur, and welcome to Dragon Quest Builders 2. God, I can't wait. Oh, uh, if uh, if you haven't seen my playthrough of Dragon Quest Builders, the original one, um, check it out. It's on my YouTube channel. Holy crap, I can't wait. Uh, Dragon Quest Builders is one of my favorite play playthroughs ever uh, on my YouTube channel, and I've done a lot of playthroughs now. And, uh, and it, it just holds a place in my heart. It's so good. Um, so let's get started. I haven't played it at all yet. We're gonna get going. We're going to claim our builder bonus. Okay, no bonus content available. <laughs> all right, I guess we'll just start a new game. Let's go. The first one was so good. Yes, it was. It's time to design your character. All right, let's make Schmur here. Schmur has hair of this color. It's actually a little darker than that. Yeah, that seems about right. Um, I am white as the driven snow. <laughs> so let's go. And my eyes are a beautiful blue color. Right? Let's get the beady eyes in here. Look how blue they are. Oh, they're so blue. Um, wow, these the darker ones really become like gray. I think that that's probably it. These greens are really close too, but yeah, I think it's this one. All right, let's go. Looks just like me. Can you change hairstyle? You can't. All right, well, there I am, everybody. It's Schmur. Okay. No. No. <laughs> Schmur. And away we go. Yay! Are you happy with this character? I've never been happier. It's the greatest day of my life. Let's go! Spit an image. You can now adjust the game settings. Okay. Alright. Uh, look up, down, dash, and ride controls. I. What does this even mean? Oh, they're at the bottom. Okay, L to look up, ZL to look down, R to dash or ride monster. I do like R to dash. Okay, um, place item is X, use tool ZR. Or ZR to place an item and X to use the tool. We'll use type one. All right, change tools with A. Press and hold for the tool menu. Stow and inventory. Got it. Um, camera movement. Vertical. Should be inverted. Um, your character will start to run when you tilt L a fair amount. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. We're ready to go. Let's do it. Confirm. I'm so happy with the settings, game. Thank you for asking. Oh, let's go. I'm so ready. I'm so ready for Dragon Quest Builders 2. I've been waiting for this for a million years, it feels like. And it's finally here. And the waiting will hopefully be worth it. From what I've read, it seems like it's way good. It's been out for a while in Japan, but I haven't played it. I received the Hoto Stuff Pack. Recipe for stackable slime. Pixelated protagonist. Pixelated prince. Princess. Sun sigil. Star sigil. Moon sigil. Water sigil. Soul sigil. Legendary line art. Dragon quest logo. Ornamental chimera wing. Medicinal herb. The modernist. Oh my god. Sunglasses. Let's go. Alright. You'll be able to use it once you progress a certain point in the game. Hmm. Venture forth, my children, and destroy all before you. Clearly, this is Schmur talking. Obviously. Um. Okay. He's there for a long time. Oh, that's not Schmur at all. Thus decreed the great and glorious high priest Hargon, and lo, his minions of mayhem did march out rank upon rank to ravage the land and strike fear into human hearts. 
Uh, this is like news, clearly, okay. Thus decreed the great and glorious high priest Hargon, and lo, his minions of mayhem did march out rank upon rank to ravage the land and strike fear into human hearts. The March of War. Uh, the newscaster is a minion. Our unholy father then gave up his mortal form so that Malroth, the master of destruction, might be reborn and the world might be consumed by catastrophe. Alas, mighty Malroth was defeated at the hands of the despicable spawn of Erdrick before Hargon's glorious vision could be brought to life. Ba -ba 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 -ba. We shot him to death. We Tommy gunned our way right through. Look at the cute little chair on the throne. Aww. Okay. The moon has waxed and waned many times since that fateful day. Now peace reigns supreme and our order has been scattered to the four corners of the earth. Tell me, brothers and sisters, what does a monster do when backed into a corner? It bites, I say. We must do everything and anything within our power to bring this world to ruin. He's telling it to his little chitlins. I love it. <laughs> blah, blah, all hail Hargon. Praise be to Malroth. That's right, my children. O oh, hellish father, hear our prayer. Deliver us from this world of oblivion. Lead us ever onwards as we build your dominion of darkness together. Uncle Sam wants you. Dragon Quest Builders 2. Let's freaking go. Shmer. Yeah? You are the hero who will save the world. Arise, my child. Your destiny awaits. Oh, he's a skelly boy. Okay, that's weird. That's that's quite odd. Turn around, Schmer. <laughs> Don't look on your face. I was only robbing... Oh, I was only ribbing you, my child. You're no hero. I know that much. You're one of them builders, right? Um, yeah. <laughs> you want to watch that mouth of yours, boy? Telling the truth might land you with more than you bargained for. Still, at least you're not a master builder. You might only be an apprentice, but that'll do. I've actually got just the job for a lad like you. Once you wipe the sleep from your sockets, come and meet me up on deck. Am I in a boat? Is it boaty time? Okay. All right, get a move on. Use the stick to move your character. Control the camera. B to jump. Yeah! Oh. Oh. I can rest and get all my HP back. Well, that's nice. Fully healed. Let's go. All right. Yep, big stretch, Shmer. Big stretch. Uh, poo whiff, what a pong. This must be the toilet. <laughs> it looks like it hasn't been emptied for a long time. Gross. How about Skelly Boy here? There's no response. It's just a skeleton. Hello, ghost friend. Builder, Builder, I have something to tell you. Did you know you can run by holding R while you move around with the L? I'm sure the extra speed will be handy. Take care of the high ledges or you'll meet your maker sooner rather than later. Um, I mean... Okay. Oh, hey girl. Oh, hello. I couldn't help but overhear you hobnobbing with that dreadful dreadnought. So, you're an apprentice builder, are ya? I was gonna ask if you'd come up with a plan to get us off the ship, but you're far too much of a rank amateur to figure something like that out. Clearly, I'm like, I'm imprisoned by the bad guys, right? Why in the... Uh, is this still the same girl? Why in the goddess's name did I ever become a builder? If I'd have been a farmer or a miner, I'd have never been left to rot in this stinking cell. Oh, they're collecting all the builders to make sure that they get Erdrick's, well, Schmer's ancestor. We thought the children of Hargon were all but vanquished, that they were running scared had they ever turned the tables on us like this. Builder. Press A when you want to examine something or strike up a conversation with someone. I suggest you remember this advice. Until the day you die! Oh, and one more thing. Can you ask that girl in the brig to pipe down? She won't stop screaming. How does she expect me to rest in peace when she's being so noisy? Hoppity hop. Cool. Oh, up on the deck, huh? Okay. All right. 
Ah, the builder. Tell me, boy, do the children of Hargon frighten you? Do you wish to flee from this floating coffin? These waters are cursed. Strange voices carry across the waves, and many a vessel is vanished into vapor. The crew victims to an unknown fate. Now, are you scared? Not as scared as I am, I assure you. I'll be off this death trap at the first opportunity. Good idea, bro. Uh, very dangerous. Trey Dangeru. Oh, hello, slime friend. This is where we throw our cargo. Real skilled mariners like me, slime mariners, call it the hold. Say, you would be that apprentice builder I've been hearing about, would you? They say you can make all sorts of stuff from a few bits and blobs. I know how you builders do it. As a magnificent Hargoon once said, destruction awaiteth all that is built. Think of all that hard work going to waste, gooing to waste, gooing to waste. Okay, I actually need, um, this, yes. Oh, that's much better. All right. Uh, okay. Let's go. Uh, back through here. Now we just gotta go up to the deck, meet our skelly friend. Up here, builder. Stairs are no match for you, I see. You just can't keep a good lad down. <laughs> now, as you'll no doubt have spotted, we're sailing on the open ocean. You've got no chance of escaping, so don't even bother trying. Not that you'd get very far anyway. You're nothing but skin and bones. Here, get this down your gullet. It's fresh from the captain's table, which is where I sit, by the way. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. Thanks for the kelp, buddy. I appreciate you. Schmir can't remember when he last ate. The thought of food makes his stomach start rumbling. Believe it or not, that kelp can be eaten. Select it and press X to eat it. Nom, 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 nom. I'm at 65% foods. Good stuff. Down in one, that kelp's pretty tasty, isn't it? The pungent aroma and slimy texture make for a spine-tingling combination. You should thank your lucky stars you got to scoff such a scrumptious snack, because it'll be the last meal you ever eat. Yep, you heard me right. You'll be dead soon enough. But don't worry, you won't be shuffling off this mortal coil just yet. I've got plenty of hard graft for you to be getting on with first. Yay, I completed the Eat Kelp quest. You can wipe that lily-livered look off your face. I'm not going to send you to the cemetery anytime soon. So long as you got some life left in you, I'll give you a chance to keep hold of it. But you'll have to follow my orders to the letter. Okay. What's that? You want to know who we are and what you're doing here? If you're that desperate to find out how far up the creek you are, without a paddle, I might add, go and talk to those five monsters beneath the flag over there. Oh, it's the priest. Um, what's up? Oh, God! I fell right, right down a hole. Wow. Okay. Guys, um, yeah, like, bro, you should fix this. Hell's bells, what a storm we had last night. It washed all the torches overboard, scattered by barrels around the deck. I beg your pardon, you say you slept right through it. Good gracious, you must sleep like a particularly lazy log who have missed a humdinger of a hurricane like that. Yeah. La the laziest of all logs. Hello, Goomin. We're the last surviving members of the Children of Hargoon. The ones who didn't get squished. We're going to bring the world to its knees, all in the same of Gurit and Glorious High Priest. What's with all the slurping? I'm just salivating at the prospect of squashing you Goomins once and for all. Slurp, 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 slurp. Okay. Ugh, the ship keeps swaying from side to side. I feel a bit seasick. What's that? You want to know where we're sailing to? I'm in the foggiest. The higher-ups would never tell stuff like that to a lowly little draggy. Well, if it isn't Mr. Builder, you're only an apprentice, but you're prancing around like you own the place. Honestly, you can't go anywhere with... Anywhere the the these days <laughs> these days without bumping into an insolent little builder helping to undo it all our hard work. The world's going down the pan, that's for sure. 
Our only choice is to eliminate bothersome builders like you one by one. <laughs> okay. You're that apprentice builder we nabbed in Catlin, aren't you? I must admit, I feel a little pangs of sympathy for you. It's not very nice to know your end is nigh. <laughs> Alright. Maidenhall, Kanak, Moonbrook. From forth these three kingdoms did come the hated heroes, the scions of Erdrick, and laid almighty hog on low. With his dying breath, our exalted leader surrendered his mortal form so that Malroth, the Lord of Destruction, could be born. Alas, he too was vanquished. But does that mean all hope is lost? No! No, I say! Hargon's ambitions did not perish with him. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but one day we will reduce this world to ruin. Hey, bro. I talked to him. So you talked to the rest of the crew, eh? Obedient little blighter, aren't you? Now you know, we're the last survivors of the children of Hargon. Loyal servants of that mighty master of destruction himself. That means you builders are our sworn enemies. We're sailing the ocean blue, rounding up pesky vermin like you, along with everyone else who gets in our way. Eh? You want to know what we're going to do with the builders? Uh, only the higher-ups know for sure, but I'll make no bones about it. I reckon you lot are for the chop. Still, doesn't mean we can't make the most of what little time you got left. Just be thankful you can be of some benefit as your final moment draws ever closer. Okay. What do you got for me next? <coughs> Excuse me. Listen up, Builder. Unless you want to spend the rest of your life behind bars, or worse, you'll do as I say. So here's the deal. Last night's storm messed up my ship good and proper. I want you to make the ship shape around here again. Start with, I want you to break up all the driftwood and bring me the wood when you're done. Go on, chop chop. Okay. Run up to one and press Y to punch it into something useful. Ha ha! Pouch! Can't break barrels yet, huh? Dude, the punching animation's pretty fun. Alright. Clean up the deck, 4 out of 10. Oh, right here. Got you, buddy. Don't worry. I got you under my control. Okay. There's... There's one more piece somewhere. Great music. Um... Wait, could it... Oh, wait, it's right there. Why didn't you tell me it was right here, you jerkbags? I'm, I'm doing work that you don't want to do. Maybe help me out a little. All right. My deck, my deck looks much better now that you picked up all that wood. Still, I suppose being given the chance to save your sorry skin will tend to give you a kick up the coccyx. You want to know why I'm giving you this chance? Truth is, as a sworn servant of the Master of Destruction, I'm not supposed to fraternize with your kind. But considering the state of my ship, I've got no other choice. Anyway, it's not like you're a proper builder. You're only an apprentice at the end of the day, so I'm sure it's fine. You wouldn't forsake me for a little thing like this. Right? Anyway, I think we've chewed the fat long enough. If you want to cling on to your life for a little longer, I suggest you continue working like the dutiful little builder you are. Just remember, you can get all sorts of useful materials by smashing things. <laughs> Just be careful what you, that what you bash doesn't bash you back. Okay. Like... Bash you. Nothing? Okay, fine. Uh, you're an odd one. Since the moment I let you out of that cell, you've been scurrying about my deck and chatting with my crew without a care in the world. If anything, I'd wager you were actually enjoying this. There must be something wrong with you. I can't explain it any other way. I mean, why else would you wear that dopey grin on your dopey mush? Faced with the same fate most prisoners would be scared witless, but not you. Um, I'm just a chill guy. You know, that's, that's how I do. You what? You always look like that when someone's got a job for you? Hmm, seems like you aren't scared of us at all. I better keep you busy or who knows what you might try and pull. Luckily, there's plenty for you to be getting on with. For starters, some of the boys on deck have got jobs they need doing. Report back to me when you've sorted them out. Alright, buddy. What's my job? I've been... I've been watching you, Builder. I saw you scrabble around the deck greedily, pocketing all the wood you could find. The raging tempest that struck last night washed all our navigation lights overboard. But such things can be rebuilt, can they not? To wit, I wish for you to use the wood you collected to make some torches. You see the worn-out workbench over there? Yeah, use it to make torches. I believe you need this oil. Okay, some splats of oil. Once you have the torches, you must put them back in their proper positions. The 
The five black blocks will be your sign. There is one by the workbench and four more around the stairs that lead below decks. Place one torch upon each block. Do not fail me, builder. Craft the five torches and put them in place. Okay. Torch time. Five torches. All right, so we select torch and then X to place. Boom. Bam. Bang. Eh. Ow. And uh, where did you say the other one was, dude? Aha, uh -huh, I see, I see. There you go. I did it. Look how good I am at torching things. Seems like you have done exactly as I asked. The guiding flames burn brightly as before. For a ship such as ours, they could do with being a touch more sinister, if I do say so myself, but I shan't complain. The deck is illuminated once more. I must say, your propensity to create unsettles me. Not that it matters, you will soon outlive your usefulness. But your work is not over yet. There are others aboard the ship who might still find some use for you. Go to them, I pray. Thanks, man. All right. Hup, hup, hup. Hey, buddy. Well, if it isn't the so-called builder, anyone Anyone would think you own the place the way you're strutting around this deck. What's with the attitude? Um, I don't have an attitude. I'm just schmur. You're running errands for the boys on the captain's orders and you want me to give you a job to do? Tell you what. You can help me relieve the boredom of being stuck on this good-for-nothing ship as long as you're not afraid to put your life on the line. Truth is, I've always wondered whether builders can fight. How do you feel about going mano a mano with a monster? Oh, you! Fancy taking a swing at this kid? Just try not to kill him, eh? <laughs> All right, better put them dukes up. I warn you, though, that skeleton soldier's a proper head case. Come and find me after the fight's finished, if you can still walk. All right, the, ske the skelly boy attacks. Ah! Huh. Hup. Yeah, boy! How you like me now? Well, you're a better boxer than you look, I'll give you that. Still, the only thing those pathetic punches of yours hurt was my pride. Not that I should be surprised. You're pretty bony for somebody who claims to be a builder. Doesn't exactly bode well for your future career, does it? Lucky you don't have a future to speak of at all. <laughs> all right, be off with you. Go and tell the bosun what a weakling you are. Hey, man, I'm a weakling. You fight like a cow's cadaver. You builders really aren't cut out for combat after all. What's that? You would have smashed him to smithereens if you had a weapon. Yeah, likely story. You're gonna bash him upside the skull with one of them torches you such a wizard whipping up. Don't make me laugh. Huh? What's that book you got there? Hmm. Eureka, Schmer learned a new recipe. Yay! Oh, baby. A broken branch, wi branch whittled to work as a weapon. Don't just stand there smirking. Tell me what's so funny. Um, I actually just came up a plan with the weapon to kill all of you. You worked out how to make a cypress stick? Well, I never. Are you telling me that builders can invent things as well as make them? Well, don't just stand around looking gormless. Put your money where your mouth is and make this cypress stick then. You know where the workstation is, right? One more thing. Once you made it, don't forget to equip it. Weapon's no use otherwise. Boop, 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 boop. Cypress stick activate! All right. Yeah! Oh, baby. Oh, baby. You ready? You ready to get whapped to get a weighty wallop? I hope you are. Boy genius returned cypress stick in hand. Now you really look the part. What do you say? Fancy another crack at that old bag of bones now you got a weapon? Yeah. That's a spirit. I want to watch that rotter try and put himself back together once you're through with him. Wow. He really likes me. Whap. Um. Whap, I said. Whap, whap, whap. Whap. A compound fracture. Die. A bone crushing defeat. 
I don't know if I could pick myself up after this one. Go on then, lad. Go and brag about beating me to the bosun. That's right. That's right. You certainly gave that bag of bones a good hiding. Just look at the state of him. The only thing he's good for now is feeding a dog. You what? You feel a bit sorry for him. <laughs> That's a new one. I'll wager no human ever shed a tear for a monster before. Uh, just don't think you can butter me up by tickling my funny bones. Anyway, thanks for that, Builder. It certainly helped me pass the time, if nothing else. I even think I learned something today. You Builders are useless in a fist fight, but with a weapon in hand, you're not to be sneezed at. But you're not done for the day just yet, not by a long shot. I got a feeling in my bones there's something else on board needs a helping hand. Yay! Missions everywhere. Solving missions. Okay, that guy doesn't want anything to do with us. We got... Oh, God, I almost... Jeez, uh, it looked like I almost jumped right off the boat. I'll bet you want me to fix the floor. My, my, you have been a busy little boy, haven't you? First you made those torches, now a cypress stick. One can hardly call oneself a builder without one's tools of the trade. Where are yours, builder? Do you even have any? Um, no. Alas, not... Other than that simple cypress stick, you haven't a single tool upon your person. Such a shame. Well, I think we had ought to do something about that. I confiscated this pair of gloves from the builder in the brig below. Now they're yours. With these equipped, you'll be capable of hoisting up a new host, a whole host of objects without the need to smash them first. Ideal for organizing your articles in an orderly fashion. So without further ado, take your newfound gloves, gather up all the barrels strewn higgledy-piggledy about the deck, and place them on the mat beside me. Okay. Uh. Aya! Pick up stuff and plonk it down. Excellent. All right. Use the gloves. Press ZR to pick something up. Hey! 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 Yup! Hey! Hey! Yup! Come here! Where are the rest of the barrels? Hey! Oh, so exhausting. Haha! Yeah! Yay! Okay. I can still yumpo when I'm carrying things. That's nice. Alright. Hup. Done. Wonderful work. Six perfectly positioned barrels. I'm sure you'll agree that a pair of gloves is an indispensable tool for any budding builder. I was under the impression that the youth of today were nothing but a swarm of workshy wastrels. But based on your showing just now, I may have to reassess my stance. Alas, no matter the blood, sweat, and tears you shed in servitude, you'll always be a builder and the eternal enemy of our exalted order. I fear your time among us will be but short, but your fate is not for me to decide. That's the captain's responsibility. Yeah! Captain! It would appear you have attended to everyone's errands for now. Hurry along and inform the good captain that you require some more back-breaking chores. Oops. Yay! Back-breaking! Not bad. Not bad. Looks like you've done everything the lads asked of you. Nice to see a human working his fingers to the bone for us monsters, and without a word of complaint, neither. If I doubted it before, I'm certain now you actually like this sort of thing. You're a proper weirdo, you know that? Still, I won't be satisfied until I hear it from the horse's mouth, so to speak. Do you enjoy building things? Yeah. yeah. Of course you do. It's what gets you out of bed in the mornings. I can tell from the look on your fleshy face. You've got all the makings of a master crafter. And that's why we can't let you live! Well, what with you builders being our mortal enemies and everything, I can't exactly have you running bow to stern building like Billy O now, can I? I'm sorry to say it, kid, but I'm gonna have to sever that smiling skull from your shoulders right now. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just tickling your ribs. Don't look so scared. I'm not really gonna lop your noggin off. Well, as long as you stay on my good side, that is. After all, I wouldn't want to lose a willing worker like you. I reckon you got what it takes to be a cracking little cabin boy. And what's more, I like the cut of your jib. What do you say, laddie? Will you join my skeleton crew? You don't have to say anything. I can tell you're too overcome with joy to thank me now. Actually, there's something else I've been meaning to ask you. Oh, what's with the big book you're lugging around? I've never seen anything like it before. 
Uh, it's my Buildapedia, dude. Oh, it's raining. Where'd this rain come from? Ah, you'll have to tell me later, laddie. It looks like there's another storm rolling in. Ah, an apprentice builder. You will do nicely. Who dat? New phone. Who dis? New mind. Who telepath telepathically dis? Uh, this is your world to create and yours to destroy. Hmm. Mine to destroy. That's a pretty sweet deal. Now come to me, my child. Um, Skelly Boy is chatting up his ghost friend. Hi, cloth ears. What are you gawking at? Didn't you hear me? I told you to get your fleshy rump below decks and get into the hold. It's far too dangerous up here for a landlubber like you. you ah! Okay. What? Oh, oh no. What the heck's going on? Oh no. I've done passed out. Captain, come to the hold quickly. We're in deep goo goo down here. Well, I mean, I don't like the sound of this. Hold tight, I'm on my way. Oh, there he is. Blimey. You all right there, Builder? Ugh, I can't be stopping to help some human. I gotta get into that hole. Builder. Hargon, preserve us. This is bad. This is really bad. Hey, Builder, get your bony backside in here. Pronto, I need your help. Ugh. I have to save the monsters. Oh, boy. Oh, there's water coming in. We gotta fix it. What took you so long, eh? I got bad news, Builder. We've been swept right into a reef and the rock's gone clean through the hull. If we don't fix this fast, we'll be heading to Davy Jones's locker. I don't know if this'll work, but try cramming a crate into that hole. You got a pair of gloves, don't you? So use them. Ugh. Ah. Huh. Bah! How you like me now? Please, Builder, plug up the holes before it's too late. Stuff a crate in every gap you see in my ship. Oh, boy. Uh, that was a closer shave than I'd have liked, but you did it. You saved my... Oh, throw me a bone, not more holes. Throw me a bone. I get it. We're taking on more water. You gotta do something. Use more crates to plug those holes up. Hup. Hi. Hup. hi ya, ya. Hi. You're a lifesaver. Better or no, I owe you one. But our run-in with that rock has made mincemeat of my hull. The next wave that hits us could... cause six holes? I knew it. It's a race against time, Builder. Cram some more crates in those holes and hurry. Hup. Hup. Hup, 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 hup. Hey, yeah. Hup, hup, huppity, hup, 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 huppity. Yeah, done, Skelly boy. You shored up my ship good and proper, Builder. I don't know where we'd be without you. She'll hold for now, but who knows how much lo- Kaboom! <laughs> Throw me a bone. We're done for. Oh no, holy moly, look at that one. We don't have any crates big enough to plug a hole that size. This is it, Builder. It was nice knowing you. Don't forget me, Builder! Yeah, blow it up, dude. Mine to destroy, exactly. Exactly. Take it apart. Oh, cinematic. Brought to you by Square Enix. That's not Schmur. That's not what Schmur looks like at all, you cinematic jerks. Don't laugh at me. Oh. No, don't do it, bro. You can't. No, he won't. He won't. That's awesome. That's awesome. They need the builders to destroy the things. Oh, it was bleach, and that's why he's blonde. It's the the refracting of the light, right? 
The light is refracting. Yes. Yes! Dragon Quest Builders 2. Yo. Hello, Orange Pants friend. Gardening? Let's freaking garden. Making waterfalls? Oh, I'm so excited. I'm like clutching my heart right now. I super say end, of course. That makes the most sense. It actually does make a lot of sense. But okay, maybe I'll 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 cease super saiyaning at some point soon. Oh no! The monsters are here. Whack them with your club. This is awesome. Derp and a burr, hey baby. Ba -ba -ba -bow, bow, bow. Okay, the loading takes a pretty long time. By the way. Um, uh, when I first booted the game up, it took forever to load to the title screen. Now, it could be that I have a not super duper high grade... Um, memory card for my downloads but uh i don't know maybe i maybe i can move dragon quest builders into the core memory of the switch and it'll speed it up a little bit all right we've done it we're here ah uh, my my super saiyanness has vanished Shmur awakens on a sandy shore it seems he has washed up on a desert island along with the wreckage of the skeleton ship Decides to take a look around to see what he can see. Let's see what- Oh, look at this mini-map. Oh, treasure! Eh. I can swim. Well, I can walk in water. Okay. Suddenly, Shmur hears a voice. There's nothing here. The whole place is deserted. Where is this place, anyway? How did I even get here? The voice seems to be coming from the other side of the rocky outcrop. Shmur might be able to dig through the sand to get through the other side. Oh, a couple pieces of kelp. Let's go. I can whap them. Okay. Um, but the cypress... Oh, I can. Yeah, give me that wood. Hook me up with the wood. Oh, I can only do pieces that are already somewhat broken. That's interesting. More kelp! Oh, baby. How about barrels? Yes! Yes! Kelp me up! Alright, dig through the sand, it said. Oh, this way. Got it. Um, but first... I want to collect whatever kelp there may be. Can I collect this stone? I can pick it up, but I can't collect it. Oh, yes. Yes. All the wood I could ever ask for. All right. Kelp me up. Bam, bam. More kelp. Oh, camera is indeed in the way of the mini-map. Thank you, thank you. We'll put my face underneath this, and then we will just uh, flip horizontally. There we go. All right. More kelp. Let's go. And wood. Um, we're, we're a little hungry, but hopefully we'll figure out how to make better food than kelp soon. All right. Dig through the sand. I leave little footprints in the sand. Super cute. Yeah. All right. Oh, oh. Hello over there. The Isle of Awakening, the land of infinite opportunity.
well. It sure looks nice. Kelp. More kelp. The sky is such a strange color. Have I died and gone to heaven? Or hell more likely. What was that noise? Hey, Spikey, who the heck are you? <laughs> um, okay. What are you supposed to sound like, I wonder? I'm sorry, I'm very, very hungry. I have to collect this kelp. All right, what's up, brother? Finally, a live one. Say, you wouldn't happen to know how we wound up here, would you? You were on a ship that sank, and then you woke up on the beach? How come you didn't cark it too? What's your story? Your name's Shmur, and you're an apprentice builder. Huh. Never heard of one of them before. Congratulations, I guess. <laughs> anyway, my name's Malroth. Hey, you want to see something really gruesome? Follow me. Um, and how? Show me the gruse. What's the matter? You're not squeamish, are you? Come on, you won't be disappointed. Okay. Oi, it's this way. All right. Look at this. This is beautiful. Oh, I love it. All right. Kelp. Kelp. Look at all the kelp. Collecting lots of kelp. Eating lots of kelp. Nothing, no food at all but kelp. Uh, okay. Yo, I'm following you, man. Whoa. Corpses. Now that's what I call dead in the water. Bet you've never seen anything like this before. Seems like you and me are the only survivors on the shipwreck. Wonder if my manager would let me go home sick. Nice. Welcome back, Haley. What's that? You don't remember seeing me on board. But if I wasn't on your ship, then how did I... Cough splutter. What the? Hey, that girl isn't dead after all. Let's kill her. She sounds like she's in a pretty bad way, though. You should do the right thing and put her out of her misery. I knew it. I knew it. Um, excuse me. Oh. Oh. A wave breaks on shore and washes the body out to sea. Yo. I just saw a slime decompose before my very eyes. Eh. Yeah. Eh. Beh. Where am I? How did I get here? Eh. You're p p pirates, aren't you? Filthy freebooting brigands, you shall take me captive and demand a ransom for my safe return. <laughs> there she goes. She's got a mouth on her, hasn't she? Yeesh, dude, this guy. It's only one way to make sure she shuts up for good. Mind if I do the honors? Um, yeah. Girl's got some serious issues. What do you say we go shut her up permanently? Um, dude. Seems, seems like a bad plan. We can build, but there's nothing we want to build. Um, we're, we're not pirates, dude. Get away from me, you villains! If you're gonna take me captive, at least tell me where we are and how I got here! Well, we're on an island with nothing but sand, uh, rocks, and a few corpses to keep us company. You must have washed up here with Shmur when your ship sank. Just a moment, do I know you? Huh? Yeah, I remember, you're that builder from the ship. The one who ran around grinning while those horrid monsters barked orders at you. I know you were in cahoots with them. So that means this is all your fault. Well, what are you gonna do about it? This looks prettier than Minecraft. It is much prettier than Minecraft, yes. Not, maybe not quite as in-depth as Minecraft, but, um, but definitely gorgeous. You're gonna make the things we need to survive while we wait for a rescue party? Oh, well, all right. Even a rank amateur like yourself should be able to use that worn out workbench outside to make the most basic essentials. I'm Lulu, by the way. Uh, now, well, what do we need to hold up? To hold out until help arrives. Let me see. Thank you, baby. Lulu's demands. Make a room. We'll need shelter from the elements while we wait to be rescued. I'd rather not die of exposure before them. The walls must be at least two blocks high, and we'll need a door for getting in and out. 
Why not use this old shack? It's rather worse for wear, but I'm sure you can fix the place up. You can salvage some of the decking from the wreckage to patch up holes. Uh, just use those gloves of yours. Pick it up. You won't have to worry about splinters that way. Cook food on the bonfire. Uh, we have no idea how long it'll take a search party to locate us, so we'll need to find sustenance to tide us over until we're rescued. There's bound to be a scallywinkle or two on the seashore, and they're edible as long as you give them a good grilling on the bonfire first. You'll need some wood for a fire. Well, luckily for us, there are plenty of pieces of driftwood and broken barrels from the shipwreck. You may as well put them to use. And build some beds. So Minecraft resource packs make it look better. Yeah, probably, yeah. Um, oh yeah, I've seen some absolutely gorgeous Minecraft stuff. Of course. I returned two things I bought on Steam. was very sad to have to return Parkitect. Oh, that's too bad. Parkitect is, is really good. I can't be expected to put my head down for the night on these lumpy old rocks. I need a proper bed if I'm to get my beauty sleep. I don't imagine you're capable of building four posters, so we'll have to make do with three piles of straw bedding. Place them in the room when you're done. Hey, don't start telling us what to do, bossy boots. Who made you the leader here, anyway? Pipe down, you Neanderthal. I don't even have the common... De or you don't even have the common decency to wear a proper shirt. Don't think you're impressing anyone with those mighty muscles. Say that again and I'll show you how mighty these muscles are. Oh, Builder, you'll do these little favors for me, won't you? You'll save me from the savagery. Yeah. That's <laughs> wonderful. I knew you'd do exactly as I asked. You can consider these little tasks as training exercises if you like. Then when you become a fully-fledged Builder, you'll have me to thank. Training exercises? Who does this girl think she is? Remember what I said before about putting her out of her misery? Well, how about we put her out of our misery instead? They gonna bang. Let the mission begin. Bang Lulu. All right. Ha! That girl really gives me the hump. First she won't stop whinging. Then the moment she wants something done, she's barking out orders like we're her servants. Don't let her boss you around, okay? You're a builder at the end of the day, not her lackey. Yeah, yeah, I know she's stranded here too, but that doesn't mean you have to help her. Don't be such a soppy sad case. <laughs> she's a castaway at the end of the day, same as us. You gotta look out for number one. That's my motto. By the way, there's something I've been meaning to ask. You know you said you were a builder? Is that, like, something to do with the duck's nose? Yeah. Well, whatever this builder business is all about, I'll help you. But only so I don't have to hang around with her. Have you decided what to her errands you'll do first? Hmm. If it was up to me, I'd mend those walls while we're here. Stuff some planks on the holes and hey presto, we builded ourselves a brand new room, right? Be honest, I blanked out the rest of her request. Speak to her again if you need a reminder. <laughs> to be honest, I blanked out the rest of her request. <laughs> That's so good. Okay. Building, building, building. Doing lots of building. Putting buildings together is what I'm gonna do. do, 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 do. Smash him with the block. <laughs> the humor in these games is so good. Shmary, you repaired my room. Now I have somewhere to hide in safety should monsters attack. Not bad for a base apprentice. Just so you know, a room must have a door and walls at least two blocks high. That's the first rule of rooms. Anyway, I'm ever so happy to have a proper place to stay. And you two are very welcome to stop by anytime you like. Yay. All right, we got plenty of wood, so we should be able to make a bonfire. She seems pretty satisfied with the new room. Right, uh, next up is dinner. She wanted us to cook some of the scallywinkles on a bonfire, mm -hmm. right? Is that something you can do? Hmm, let me think. Of course. Yay, I thought up a new recipe. <laughs> Chuck Z. Taylors, what's up? How are you? The game is... Uh, exactly as good as the first one so far, which is to say extremely great. I'm still in the tutorial area, um, but it's gorgeous, it's funny, uh, it controls easily, nicely. You still got Chrono Trigger because that was paid for with money in my Steam wallet that someone sent me. Noise. Uh, yeah, when you get a chance to get Park Attack, it is really good. All right, I learned how to make a bonfire. Well, what's the deal with that book? Uh, you just invented, <laughs> invented bonfires, and now you can build one if you have enough 
materials. All you need to do is put together some wood and oil on that worn out workbench. Well, if it's oil you need, I can give you some. I wrung this out of a slime that got in my way earlier. Hey, thanks, buddy. All you need now is wood. I have it. Anyway, you better get that bonfire built. No use starving her. It'll only put her in an even worse mood than she's already in. I am on Switch, Chuck's Detailer. I forgot to mention that at the beginning of this uh, recording as well. I'm playing this on the Switch, the Nintendo Switch. Uh, played a little bit of Parkitect. That's too bad. Uh, I'm sure you'll get it again soon. Um, okay, let's make ourselves a bonfire. One bonfire, please. Great. All right, and then the bonfire... Um... I'm gonna put the bonfire right, right here. Right there. Bonfire placed. What's that you've made? It's hot as heck, it spits and crackles. Yeah, it must be a bonfire. Hmm. Are you sure you know what you're doing with that? You know you're not supposed to play with fire, right? Bonfire Bistro. All right, we gotta find ourselves a Scallywinkle. Oh, Scallywinkles. Ah, I think I see one. Hey, Schmur, I want to ask you something. I keep hearing about making and materials and builders, but what does any of that actually mean? You smash things you find here and there to get materials which you use to make new stuff. That's what being a builder is all about? Uh, okay, I think I'm starting to get a clearer picture of what it is you guys do. How come I don't know already? Look, there might be ten a penny where you come from. Oh. How come I don't know already? Well, look, there might be ten a penny where you come from, but I'm telling you, I never met a builder before. <laughs> well, not that I remember, anyway. When I get my memory back, I'll tell you all about my blissful, builder-free childhood. In the meantime, if you need a helping hand smashing stuff to get materials, then I'm your man. I destroy pretty much everything I touch. You know those scallywinkles Lulu was asking for? There might be some knocking about nearby. Let's keep our eyes peeled and bag them all for ourselves. I see one already. Scallywinkle. What's that funny looking thing you got there? Wouldn't be one of those scallywinkles. It smells pretty fishy to me. If we ate one of them raw, we'd be chucking up chunks till the break of dawn, and that's something I'd rather avoid. Yeah! Alright. Scallywinkle. Scallywinkle. Oh, I see another. Sploosh, we're diving in. Scallywinkle. Alright. Yo, there's a bunch of them. They're everywhere. This is amazing. Yeah, Steam sales are totally awesome. What did I get this Steam sale? I got a tabletop simulator. And I got Uno. And, uh... I got Papers, Please as well, which I'm kind of excited about. But it'll be a bit before I play that, because I got Dragon Quest Builders 2 in my life. Wham! Oh, thanks, buddy. He's You're learning. Oh, that's so cool. We can collect... Oh, we're going to need this stuff. We're going to need this grass for bed making. Um, which... What is this? Nothing happens. Okay. Um, yeah, we're going to need the, the, the grass for bed making. Um, because then we'll never... If we don't make beds, we'll never, um, get the, uh... We'll never finish the 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 bang with Lulu mission, right? And and that's of course going to be the next mission that pops up. At least according to Derpitaper, who I'm pretty sure has played this whole game already. Yes, Uno. Should get you can get it. We can get oh slime boys. Ah, I've been whapped. I have been walloped weightily by a slime boy. Get out of here. Yeah, punch it to death, dude. Can I give him a cypress stick? Because that would be cool. Is there any more secret treasure around anywhere? Doesn't seem like it. Alright, I'm gonna grab this kelp. I guess I'm gonna grab some sand. I'm gonna whap up this, this wood. Alright. I think we'll have plenty of everything we need to uh, to make the beds and such as well. So if we go ahead and go here, and I take this and I place it on the bonfire. 
and then I cook it. Careful, Schmur, the Scallywinkle just fell in the fire. Oh, that must be how you cook it. So you builders can make food too, huh? You want a Barbara from Uno? Nice. Still, it'll be a little while till that Scallywinkle's completely cooked. Let's go for some more materials while we wait. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um, I don't know how to make a bed yet, do I? No. We got plenty of materials. How's the building work coming along? I do hope you won't keep me waiting too much longer. Now that I have a room to call my own, I'm starting to feel more at ease. Thank you. Um, build some beds. Straw bedding. I don't know how to make straw bedding. Give me that. Eat the scallywinks. Seared scallywinkle. That aroma! Nom 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 nom! Is that the smell of succulently scared, seared scallywinkle? I must have it! Yeah, there you go. Wait. Enjoy. Nom 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 nom! <laughs> <laughs> the scent of the seaside combines perfectly with the gravelly crunch of the sand grains. Irresistible! But you don't have to limit your culinary repertoire to scallywinkles, you know. If you see anything else that looks edible, try cooking it on a bonfire. <laughs> I find a cooked meal much more filling than raw fare, and it makes me feel healthier, too. Just remember that cookery is all about experimentation. All right. All right, now let's make a bed. I just realized I never asked your names. Um, I'm Schmur. Schmur and Malroth, you say. I know you're a builder, Schmur, but what do you do, Malroth? Well, I'm, uh, actually, I don't know what I do. I woke up on this island, but I can't remember anything before that. My memory is completely blank. <laughs> well, well, an apprentice booter and his amnesiac friend. What an unexpected partnership. Uh, we're not partners. You think a guy like me would team up with a puny little runt like him? You must be dreaming. Speaking of dreams, I'm starting to feel a little drowsy. It's been a long, stressful day, and that seared scallywinkle filled me up nicely. So, Schmer? How's progress going with the straw bedding I asked you to make? I'm really rather ready to hit the hay. Hmm, let me think for a second. Ah, a light bulb appeared above my head, and that means I should write in my book. All right, basic bedding. Can be slept on. Here we go. He's got his book out again. What have you invented this time? That's so. You reckon you can make straw bedding out of dry grass? Well, I think I saw something dry and grassy along the shore to the west. Could that be what you're looking for? I already have 25 pieces. It's just a question of how much I need. Um, you can only place one at a time. Okay, let's make some beds. Oh yeah, we can make three beds all at once. Good stuff. Three piles of straw bedding. All right, good stuff. Now, let's collect. Let's get some mouse cooking, right? Yeah. And, uh, oh, oh, I, ooh, I don't know what I'm doing right now. Okay. Um, dry grass, bedding, crispy kelp. Nom, 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 nom. 15%, that's pretty good. I forgot to start it cooking. I guess I could make another bonfire so we can have two things cooking at once. Let's do it. All right. And bonfire, good stuff. Go ahead and do this. And this. And cook. And cook. And... Uh... Nom? Nom. 20%. Let's go. All right. I've got your beds, lady. Okay. And, uh, we're going to do them like this. A one, and a two, and a three. This is wonderful, Schmersh. Good job, Schmer. Good. Do I have a physical copy of this? No, I downloaded it. You made a bed for me and a couple for yourselves, too. Taking a nap during the day will help to recharge our energies. And after the sun goes down, we'll be able to while away the dark and dangerous night in Dreamland. 
Ha! Ah, I wonder what Mama and Papa would say if they knew I was rubbing shoulders with a builder, and on a desert island, no less. When the children of Hargon attacked my hometown of Rippleport, my parents were caught up in the fighting. Those maniacal monsters murdered them in cold blood! So I stowed away on that accursed ship, hoping to avenge their deaths. But I was caught before I had the chance to do anything, and we all know what happened next. Except for you. You're weird, and no one knows who you are. Oh, Papa, Mama, I may be marooned on a desert island with these two lumbering lummoxes, but I shall survive. I pray that you watch over me in these trying times. Anyway, thank you both ever so much for sorting our sleeping arrangements. It's been a long, hard day. I suggest we get some well-earned rest. Okay. But first... Grab these. Grab this. Can you burn food? Place. Thank you. All right. Cook up a little bit more. Good stuff. We'll have one more nom to get to 69%, bro. And then we'll go to sleep. Let's finish off the task Lulu gave us before we go to bed. I'd rather not have that ninny nagging us all night. Um, we already did. I guess I'll, maybe it's because, like, this is cooking. Okay, I guess we just have to talk to her then. Let's see now. You've repaired the room, sorted out my sleeping arrangements, made me supper, and I believe that's everything. I must say it's a real relief to have a builder around, and judging by the quality of your work, one would never imagine you were still only learning the ropes. I know we're stranded here, but in a weird way, I'm actually looking forward to it. I shall give you even more work to do so that you might blossom as a builder. The castaway life might be a little less luxurious than I'm accustomed to, but even so, I think this could be a fun little adventure. And as for you, Malroth, this could be the perfect opportunity to absorb a little culture and maybe even some manners. Bah. Now then, Schmir. I want you to go out at first light every morning and forage 30 scallywinkles and 50 strips of kelp. It must be cooked by lunchtime or I shall be cross. Yo, I don't think that's going to happen, lady. Ah Hi. Lulu's demands are complete. She's just screaming in my ear while pumping her fists. And Schmur is pretty happy about it. He doesn't seem to mind. Okay. And now it's sleepy time. So I do want to see... If, uh, place and place and cook. No, shut it. Shut it! Shut it! Uh, can I have a go on that workbench? I want to try making something. Cook! Okay. I want to try. Now we sleep. Oh, we're not done for the... You want to try making something on the workbench? Okay. Hmm. I've been watching you make stuff all day, and I'm pretty sure I know exactly what to do. Derp spending all the money. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be a builder just like you. Now, uh, what was it you do first? Oh, he's learning. What did he make? Something evil? I think he made something evil. Uh, that's not right. You blew it. You've ruined all of our ingredients. Oh, dude, you don't have to... Yo! Damn it, why isn't this working? Grr, stompy stomp. All right, you asked for it, Greg. Oh, just slap it into existence. That's right. Slap... Whoa, my goodness. What did I do wrong? It doesn't make sense. Why can't I make things? At this rate, I'll never be a builder. Ah, forget it. I thought making stuff would be fun in games, but it's actually way harder than it looks. Sorry, Schmer. I'll be relying on you to build things for me from here on out. And seeing as you made all that stuff for Lulu, I think it's about time you evened things out and made something for me. Cypress stick. I'll make you a cypress stick. Oh. I'll make you... An oaken club. Can only be used by Malroth. Attack plus 12. Nice. Okay. Oaken club. I've got plenty of wood. There you go, buddy. Is that for me? What would I want with this silly old stick? You see, you use it to crush people's heads in. It's not just any stick, is it? 
It's an oaken club. I can use it to whack stuff? <laughs> that sounds right up my alley. All right, I'll take it. Give it here. All right. Whack away, my friend. Whack away. Okay. Cooking stuff. Let's cook some kelp. Oh, not eat some kelp. I wanted to cook some kelp. Cook and eat is the same button, and that's really bad. All right. All right, what's up now? What are you waiting for? Come on, give me... Oh. There you go, buddy. Hey, this really is a club and a half. I wonder how it performs. Only one way to find out. Stand back while I give this beauty a few test swings. Yah, yah, yah! Yah, yah, and yah. Yay! <laughs> I like it. No, I love it. Squish and slimes will be so much more satisfying now. And to think, you made it using only the junk we found on the beach. You're amazing. Thanks, Shmer. This club is the best present anyone's ever given me, I think. Aww. Huh, Shmer, can you feel that? Some kind of evil aura. Must be coming from a monster, but whatever it is, it's way more dangerous than those scrawny little slimes we saw before. This could be a good chance for you to learn a thing or two about how to fight. Follow my lead and you'll be scrapping with the best of them in no time. Monster's somewhere down the coast of the west. Come on, I want to break in my new club by breaking that sucker's skull. A new destination has been added. Okay, fabulous. We're going to go take on this monster. But we're going to do it next time on Dragon Quest Builders 2. Twitch folks, stick around because we've got a lot more Dragon Quest Builders today. YouTube folks, that'll be the end of today's episode. So thanks for tuning in. You know I appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you later. I'll see you around. I'll see you next time. I can't wait to play more Dragon Quest Builders 2, and I can't wait to do it with you. Have a great day. Bye.